Hello, you got here just in the nick of time. That is my name. Welcome back to Learn Japanese to Survive Hiragana Battle. We just got three logs which we're going to use to rebuild a bridge here in Castor Marsh to get across from it. And we've been kicking ass. Speaking of which... Who's got their handy jandy? Jandy, dandy, cheat cheat! Alright guys, it looks like on top we have, okay, these two characters with the Dakuten. Remember the quotation marks turn this ka noise into a ga noise. So with that we got ge on bottom and ko on bottom. Gecko. The Geiko Gecko. That's what we got going right here. As I was saying, we are going to rebuild that bridge across the Castor Marsh and continue on, which we're probably going to get all new lessons in Japanese. As soon as these Hiragana warriors would stop attacking me, finally, we got key. Just a key. The key is the key to my heart. I don't know if you know this key is the key to everything. And if you ask me who is the key, I'll just look you in the eyes and say it's key. Now, fuck you. <laughs> yes. The bridge is just ahead. The bridge is just ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Looks like we have enough logs to build a bridge. Let's work together. Yeah. Phew. Done. Great. Thank you. Onward. And upward. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, you can sense a strong foe nearby. Would you like to save the game before continuing? Yes. I probably should have gone back to the... I'm going to go back to the inn right now. Hello, Dad. It's just ten bloopers for one night. You guys didn't see that, but I just did a little dance in the chair. Because I like I likes how that sounds. Let's see if we can buy anything in the weapon tent. If we're going to face this strong foe, we better do it with all of our hands out of our asses, you know? So I'm going to get boxing gloves for Claire. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to pick up a couple Ramones. And then I think we're good to go. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Equip. Now this way, Claire should be a badass. Don't get distracted by anything. We must go onward. Quickly now. Dang it. Oh, look. It's Ko on top and cool on bottom. I would have known. Yeah, let's test him out. Oh, no, I got the mixed up. No. Oh, my gosh, I got one wrong. For the first time in a while. Wow, uh... It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess that's what school is all about, right? All right, let's test these out. Oh! Oh! One hit wonder! Holy crap! That was awesome. Oh, boy. Do I dare take on this strong foe? I don't know if I should have gr grinded a bit more. What is this place? This never used to be here. I wonder, could this be where the Hiragana warriors are being summoned from? It must be, right? What else could it be here for? Maybe that Japanese magician guy just likes strange lawn art? <laughs> I sense something powerful nearby. Maybe we should come back some other time. Uh-oh, no time for that. Watch out! Whoa! Noboro appears! Ha <laughs> ha How sweet! You come for another round of punishment! Naburo! Masaki, what do we do? This guy kicked my butt last time I fought him! Just stay calm. Together, we can do this. I'm ready to take him down! You can count on me! Ha <laughs> ha How courageous! Let's see what you've got! Naburo summoned allies. Everyone, listen very carefully. Do not attack Noburo. Only attack the Hiragana warriors. We are not yet strong enough to defeat Noburo. But if we defeat enough of his summons, we can deplete his energy and live to see another day. Now, do your best. Oh, I got you, Noburo. I know with my handy-dandy cheat sheet that that's Ko on top and Ka on the bottom. So here we go. 
This is gonna be so epic. Oh my gosh, I got chills. I've got chills. Woo hoo hoo! Noburo summoned a new ally. What? Oh no, 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 that's bad strategy. That's bad strategy. Okay. Alright, so that's Ka, and, uh, and Noburo just summoned, uh, uh, oh, oh, that, that, that's one of the original Hiragana symbols. That's, um, that's, uh, I know this, I know this, that's, uh, that's eh. That's just straight up eh. Okay. Alright, and then you guys take on, uh, Ka behind him. Noburo summoned a new ally. Oh no, it's Go! Noburo summoned a new ally. Jeez, okay, so now we've got so now we've got Go on um, bottom and Gu on top with the Dakuten quotation symbols changing the Ka to a Ga. Okay. Alright, now Claire, I'm gonna need you to take down Go with one Go. <laughs> And then everyone else will take down uh, Goo. Right. Grr! Nabura fled the battle! We did it! Holy crap! He ate shit! Phew, he's gone. At least for now. That was exhausting. At least we were able to deal with the Hiragana warriors, right? We've definitely learned a lot so far. We'll get him next time. We should head back to town and rest for today. Tomorrow we'll start learning the next set of Hiragana. Come talk to me in town when you're ready. Yes, I'd like to save my progress. Woo, that was a battle that gave me trills, timekeepers. Woo-wee. We should probably rest. Hello there, it's just 10 bloopers for one night. Would you like to stay? Da da da. Hello again. What would you like to do? We're going to continue with new lessons, timekeepers. Welcome back. Let's carry on with the next lesson. I have something special prepared for today's lesson. Before we study more hiragana, we're going to learn some Japanese vocabulary. Oh, here we go, guys. Vocab lesson number one. Everyone got your pen and paper ready? Let's learn some Japanese vocabulary. To give you a break from learning hiragana every lesson, we will mix it up and learn vocabulary every now and then. We'll cover 10 new words each lesson. As we go, we will demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. You'll see how to write each word in hiragana based on the hiragana we know so far. I'll show you our first word and demonstrate how these vocabulary lessons work. Hi. Let's break down the text above. The first line in blue is how to write the Japanese word in romaji. Romaji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Okay. Hi, which means yes. Romaji is very common and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from Japanese use romaji, things of words like tsunami, karaoke, sensei, etc. Romaji is super simple and easy to read. As you learn more hiragana and gain an understanding of the syllables used in Japanese, you'll be able to write words in romaji as well as hiragana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the Romaji reading until we learn all of the relevant hiragana, which brings me to the next line, written in black. This is the hiragana reading of the word. As lessons get more advanced and you learn more hiragana, these words will become entirely written in hiragana. When there are syllables used that we haven't learned yet, I'll just display the Romaji. So in our example above, you'll see it as a ha <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's, that's actually the hiragana symbol for i. E. <clears throat> we haven't learned a hiragana for ha yet, but we've learned p or e. The dashes in between are just to symbolize the gap between each syllable. You don't need to actually write these in hiragana or romaji. And finally, our third line in orange is the English translation of the word. So, the example above teaches us that the Japanese word hi means yes in English. Awesome! Next, I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. 
This word sounds like hi or hi. However, remember how sounds like e? The word hi is actually pronounced as hi. But since Japanese is a language spoken at a rapid pace, the syllables tend to merge. A general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that the sounds of syllables do not change regardless. <coughs> oh. I'm sorry, this is why you don't eat dinner before doing hiragana. Regardless of what syllable they follow or proceed. We all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways and may not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese, every syllable has a specific pronunciation and it's the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions, but nothing to be concerned with at this stage. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation of hi again? Yes, please. Hi. 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 Okay, let me just uh, jot all that down there. Continue the lesson. Let's look at our second word. E. 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 This is e, which means no. This is an interesting word because it's made up only of vowels. E. When dealing with repeated vowels such as <laughs> you draw out the length of the sound. It's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. Listen carefully to the example pronunciation. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? E. 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 Continue the lesson. Let's look at our next word. Watashi. Watashi is the Japanese word for e. Oh, or I, sorry, I, used when referring to yourself. It's not a substitute for the letter e, okay? Like I just, like I just effed up on, right? You'll use watashi often in conversation when talking about yourself. It's a formal and polite word. There are other more casual words used to refer to yourself in Japanese, but they are saved for chatting with your friends and family. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Yes. Watashi. Watashi. What does she? What does she? What does she? What does she? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, because she's pretty good. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready for word four? Anata. Anata is the Japanese word for you, used when referring to the person you are talking to. You can use this word in conversation when talking about your conversation partner. However, it can be considered rude to use it in the wrong context. Most of the time, you refer to people by their name, even when talking directly to them. It sounds weird in English, but it's normal in Japanese. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Anata. 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 Ready for word five? The rest of the words in this lesson are for objects used when studying. Look around now. Hopefully, you have most of these things handy. Pin. Because <laughs> she wants us to have a, a pen. A pen. Right. Pen is the Japanese word used for pen. Who do? This is a word that has been borrowed from English. Oh, it's, so it's an English cognate. Awesome. Pin. pin. It's an easy word, and it's even pronounced the same. When you write words borrowed from other languages in Japanese, you wouldn't normally use hiragana. Instead, you'd use a set of characters called katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. However, since this software is about learning hiragana, oh, they just broke the fourth wall, we will write borrowed words like pen in hiragana and romaji. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Oh, yes, please. I need help on this. Pen? 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 pen. Well, guys, this lesson is running really long, so I'm going to cut the episode here. But on the next episode, we'll learn the next five Japanese words that we're going to need to advance in this game. Guys, I'm having such a blast learning Japanese with you, timekeepers. And I hope you are having, too. I hope you're having a good time. So if you're having a good time, take the time to tick the like button and subscribe. And until next time, do the best that you can with the time that you've been given. Subscribe one time to see this happen next time! Impitsu <laughs>